Hey everyone, it's time for another DRS video, by which I mean, today is Sunday, I have a device, I'm going to review it, you know the deal by now. So yeah, the year was 2005, I graduated high school, and I was given lots and lots and lots and lots of money as a graduation gift. And while well, it's none of your business what I spent with that money, but what I had left over was spent on the best thing I used going into college, and here it is. There we go. Let's pick the camera up a bit because it's far too big. Yes, there it is. The Asus MyPal A620BT Pocket PC Personal Digital Assistant, or PDA, if you will. This was released during a time when said devices were pretty much essential to college students and office people and anybody working in the industry industrial sector or whatever that case may be <clears throat> yes <laughs> the my pal uh, probably my first PDA I've ever owned and not this exact one this is I bought this uh, the second time because the one I had before it was uh, well I sold it and whatever money I got out of it was bought uh, I bought a PSP with it <laughs> yes the money I spent by selling the first time of this was spent on a PSP as opposed to a Nintendo DS. Ah, those were the days. But yeah, I think I bought this back in 2018, I believe. That's how long ago, how long ago it was. But yeah, <laughs> best money spent and all that stuff. So yeah, so I think it's time to uh, take a break from anything game related and bunch of other stuff and look at something proper for once you know you know this thing right here so yeah well let's without further ado let's look at it uh, presume we got the device itself got some people here I'm guessing silhouettes or shadows one's wearing a <laughs> headset with a laptop and some beaming stuff going on and looking really chill if you might and there's a sticker I think the first time when I bought it, it didn't have this sticker but oh well let's see what the sticker says bundled in this package are valuable software programs such as X Ranger 3d game and IA presenter worth $120 Wow that's <laughs> that was a lot of money back then I guess you know with inflation probably like 480 I believe I don't know it's been decades or so I don't even pay attention to the uh, inflation prices so yeah there's that Bluetooth and Asus or Asus or Asus, however you want to pronounce it. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of the word Bluetooth being advertised a lot because that's pretty much the main thing of this. And what do we have here? We got 400 megahertz of computing processor. That's nice. Light, because of course it is. Slim, because of course it is. CF slot or compact flash slot. Ah, Good old compact flash. I, do, that's, do they still exist? I don't even know. And again, Bluetooth. Yep, you, like I said, you're going to be seeing this, this a lot. What's on the side? Asus, Asus.com, the device itself, and the product name itself as well. And, oh, let's take a look on this side. Same stuff here. Same stuff here. And what do we have here? We have Microsoft Active Sync 3.7 system requirements. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Supported operating systems: Windows 2000, Windows 98 Second Edition, Windows ME, and Windows XP. Because yes, the last time I heard people say Windows XP was <laughs> was high-end geeks and those people you hear uh, call you from the tech scam call center guys. You know the ones that trying to fix your computer or you know the names. Well, you know these kind of people anyway. The they say their name is Skyler and their real name is Pajit mm. or whatever. You know the yeah. Anyway, moving on. Microsoft Outlook 98 or later required for synchronization to the desktop or portable computer of email, calendar, contacts, tasks, and notes. Outlook 2002 recommended. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. I mean, Outlook is kind of ish good. I mean, I don't personally use Outlook, but yeah. If you're curious what it is or you don't know what it is then I uh, I'll just briefly describe it to you it's an email client so you should all know by now 
Microsoft Internet Explorer 4.01 SP1 or later. Ah, who uses Internet Explorer? I use Firefox and sometimes Chrome and sometimes Opera. And once in a blue moon safari, yeah. Good old Internet Explorer. Anyway, hard disk drive with 12 to 65 megabytes of available hard disk space. Actual requirements will vary based on selection of features and user current system configuration. Oh good, so between 12 to 65 megabytes should be available on hard, yes, hard disk space, not solid, because of course SSD one, SSDs went around in 2005, I believe, if my history is right, yeah. Available 9 minus or 25 pin communications port. Adapter required for 25 pin communications port infrared port or USB port available for Windows 98 and Windows ME Windows 2000 and Windows XP only <sighs> 9 pin 25 pin connectors hmm that's serial I believe how can I best describe this you know how you stand in line for to get in to make cafe and you're standing there for hours and next thing you know you're up that's how long data transfers are so yeah, I'll let you figure <laughs> figure that one out and all that stuff. One CD-ROM drive. Yes, you only have to have one because if you have two, then why why two? But if you have more than two, then what is wrong with you? I yeah. VGA graphics card or compatible video graphics adapter at 256 color or later. Yes, because <laughs> yeah, you only need 256 colors. I mean, and VGA, of course, that being the standard and whatnot. A keyboard, nice, and compatible input device. Hmm. So what you're saying is a mouse as opposed to compatible input device. I mean, <laughs> who's going to use one of those Wacom tablets to point at stuff? And yeah, of course, there's some icons here and aces again. Got a printer, got a laptop, keyboard and mouse, a car, another PDA, an old school cell phone and yeah this head here uh, yeah let's see what's on this side more of the same and more of the same and there's that freakish head again oh now the autofocus is picking it up wow that that is really yeah I think that head reminds me from that one uh, one Atari Jaguar game I forgot the name of it but it's the one that goes where did you learn to fly yeah and it has a uh, one of those headsets and stuff yeah that I don't even want to think about that anymore so anyway let's let's look around the back more icons on the back and <laughs> yeah the autofocus seems to be picking up on that head that is really creepy same stuff all throughout ooh specification not specifications all right let's see what it has it has it, the processor is a 400 megahertz Intel X scale, X scale trademark PXA255 processor that is good, I think. Uh, OS is the Microsoft Windows Mobile, trademark again, 2003. Hmm. That is pretty much Windows XP-ish, <laughs> to say the least. Display, 3.5 inch brilliant transflective TFT LCD. At with <laughs> that's a good screen, I believe, with LCD. 65, <laughs> 65,536 full colors, 16-bit display. Hmm. So it's basically one of those 16 bit consoles. Hmm. And 240 at two, 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 two. <sighs> Let's try that again. 240 by 320 resolution. That is pretty much the standard for uh for most PDAs, I think. Memory, 64 megabytes of flash. Ah and 64 SD RAM. Not Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Expansion slot, one compact flash type two card slot slot at 3.3 volts slash 5 volts. So we need to rate these at various voltages. Hmm, that is good to know. Audio, integrated microphone and speaker, full duplex record and playback, one 3.5 millimeter earphone jack and MP3 stereo through audio jack. Hmm, that is the truth. Wireless connection, <laughs> wireless connection, yes. Bluetooth, yes, it advertises Bluetooth all around. And fur, sir. I generally don't know what that means, but I'm sure someone could figure that one out. Battery, 1300 milliamp lithium rechargeable battery. 
Yes, because it has a built-in battery unless... Yes, the battery is built in and you can't change it unless you open the thing apart and stuff. The size, these dimensions, 25 millimeters by 76.8 millimeters at 13.3 millimeters length, width, and height wise. And it weighs 141 grams. So roughly about between 5, 10 pounds. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's, I usually don't use the metric system as much, but oh well. Oh, here's some interesting bits. More interesting bits, rather. 55.2 megabytes, 55.2 megabytes SD RAM user user accessible for Western language, and 50, 50 53.2 megabytes SD RAM user accessibility for Eastern language. Hmm. So there is a two megabyte difference, I believe. That's good to know. And what do we have more on here? Again, Bluetooth, designed for Windows Mobile. This FCC CE UL UL listed rather. This icon, R31018. Hmm, that is good to know. And Asus again. Asus Tech Computer. Hmm, located in Taipei, Taiwan. Asus something, which I'm guessing it's a European country. You can't tell because the sticker is there. Asus Computer International in Fremont, California. Does that place still exist? I do not know. But I'd like to go there one day because the many times I've gone to Fremont, uh, I've yet to see that building there. And of course, Asus. Asus Tech, Middle East and North Africa, located in Dubai, UAE, United Arab Emirates. Now that was a thing, wasn't it? I don't know how long I've gone, but this is the most prettiest box I've ever seen on a PDA. And of course, this being 2005 and such. So I guess there is nothing left to do but to open it up and see what we're getting ourselves in. Well, I know what it is because I've opened it before and I played with it beforehand. So, and now I've just gone around to making a video. So here we go. Oh, there's something I've noticed here. Please keep all your packing materials and store them in a dry place. Hmm. So uh, not cool and dry, just dry. Okay. This will be necessary when you return my when you return my Pell A6 A620 BT for service. And caution, yes, caution. Electrostatic sensitive devices. Oh, great! Do not open or handle except at a static free workstation. Hmm. Okay, so that's the bit right there. That's most important. So you may have caught this earlier, but let's go ahead and open up and see what we're getting ourselves into. Ah. Uh, oh, here's a bit of warning. Charge before use. Yes. It says charge before use. Yes, I have done exactly that and I've charged it beforehand and everything should be Daijobu. In fact, this is the second take that I'm doing because the first time I filmed it, I forgot to do what this says. I forgot to charge it before I filmed it and everything. So therefore, there was a video wasted and I got laughed at by a crew of audience members and yeah, that was not fun. So this is take two. If you want to see take one, I'll leave a link in the video description to see how well that went. So there's that. So I did what this thing said and hopefully, hopefully it will work. <sighs> Got that out of the way. Let's move on to see what else we get in the box. We get, we get a warranty and special provisions for Australia, New Zealand and Papua New Guinea. That is good to know. Warranty and special provisions for Canada. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, there's more. Same thing in French. I'm not going to be pronouncing reading it because, yeah, my French is kind of rough nowadays, at least. Warranty and special provisions for the United States of America and any other country? Hmm. That don't make sense. Okay, you're making specifics for... For, for Australia, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, then Canada, and now you're doing it for the US and any other country. Yeah, I don't even know what that's all about, so this can go where it usually goes. What more do we get in the box? Ooh, we got, excuse me. We got ourselves a quick start guide. My apologies for the box and stuff. Oh, and I got some more extra bits. So we got a quick start guide. 
course, it shows you how to use the device. Getting to know my pal. Yes, getting to know my pal, this PDA that I spent money on. And I'll get into that later. Shows you all the bits and bobs. Pause if you want to read any of that. If you want. Pocket PC software. All that stuff. Oh. Subject just slipped out. Oh, take a look at that in a minute. Setting up my pal. Charging status LED and yeah, yeah, yeah. That's we don't need to waste time on how to use a PDA. If you're around 2005 using PDAs, then that should be a no-brainer. So that thing that slipped out of the quick start guide was this warranty card. Hmm. It's this warranty card. And it already has a sticker on it. And that's all that stuff. And it's blank. I'm not even gonna bother filling it out. And yes, limited warranty. Who's gonna who has the time to read all that? Well, I'll tell you what. If there is time to read uh, a user manual, then now is time, I believe. Yes, it is a user manual. Pretty much like the Quick Start Guide, but more in depth. Contents at a glance. Eight chapters and an appendix. And lots and lots of pages, I believe. Yes, usually separated by 8 1 and 8 and all that stuff. See? 8 7, 8 6. Oops. 5 6 and all that. So. Uh, you're probably gonna get you're probably getting 200 pages and all that stuff yes what's more in the box ah more pieces more cardboard I always wanted more cardboard that's good ah we get we got software oh there's a thing itself we'll come back to that yes the my pal companion CD which includes Outlook 2002 and Active Sync. Yes. You have to have Outlook or Active Sync in order for this to use. Ow. And this CD here is the bonus CD, of course. Come on, autofocus. You, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. There we go. This CD includes general tools, games, free goodies, and trial software. That's good to know. And. I know I've st installed st stuff from it, and there were some interesting and whatnot. Oh, what's this little bit in here? Let's open it up. It is a power brick, which is, of course, a brick that gives out power. Proprietary connector on the other end. Yes, it's of course, it's American plug. If you're... <laughs> If you're trying to sell this internationally, wouldn't you think you have uh, other plugs for other countries, you know? But, oh well. There's that. Let's get this out of the way so we can clear. I'm sure you miss me doing this, and I'm, I'll am i be glad to do it. That was better. This is the cradle or docking station which of course you put plug your PDA here that's not hard to to elaborate on and of course the other end is where you plug in yep so you could charge it what more do you need to exp I should explain of course plug into USB yep and finally the device itself which comes in this very nice uh, very good quality uh, Asus branded case. Sadly, there's no uh, no holes here for the um, you could put it on your belt or something, which would be nice. Let's pull it out, and now we have the device itself. I'll tell you what, though, I'm gonna jump cut and get the other tripod so we can look at this more in depth. Back in a second. You will note that the light is on. And here's proof that the light is on. Yes, the light is on. And it is about nighttime. Because <laughs> um, something happened while I was filming, and yep. <sighs> wasted some hours uh, during filming, and I have to do this at night. So, anyway, 
that's completely irrelevant. Let's look at the device itself and look at its glory screen. There we go. From the top, we have the power button. You got LEDs, you got my pal written on here, pocket PC, and a button with a tape recorder button. I don't know if you could read that. Yep, that opens up the record thing and two holes. That's presumably where the microphone is at. And here we got the screen, the 240 by 320 screen. Yes, it is a screen, a TFT LCD screen. Yes, and there's the Asus logo. That's good to know. Got the home button, which opens up anything you have it assigned to. You have the calendar, which is opens up the calendar. You got a D-pad. A solid d-pad with a button when you push it or push it rather there's a mighty d-pad that's pretty good you got the contacts button which opens up the contacts thing and the task button which yeah all is self-explanatory you got one speaker here you would expect to have two but it has one so that's there's that and of course everything is stereo so there's also that as well on the bottom you got the proprietary connector and the the jack for using the power brick and such on one side you got nothing on the top you got a stylus which is good because of course you got to do stuff with the stylus right and and all that stuff you got the compact flash card oh something happened nothing happened yes 512 megabyte of compact flash card old school card and we could just put that back in. If I can put it in, <laughs> I'm looking through the viewfinder, that's why. Come on, don't fail on me, I'm doing a video. There we go. And we can just put that back on. Do I have it the wrong? Yes, there we go. Got headphone jack, ah, something happened again. There we go. Yes, you can tell it's turning on. I did what the box said, charge before use. Got headphones, got infrared on the back. You got a reset button. All that stuff and design for Windows Mobile. One thing I didn't do during the unboxing is a size comparison. Let's compare it to this capture card as we have here. Pretty much, yeah, capture box. Good sizing, that's that's good to know. All right, you've you probably guessed the bit where it turned on. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Oh, there we go. My info. That is me. That is the company. And uh, let's let's rearrange the camera a bit. Ah, uh, don't don't do this to me now. Don't do this to me now. Come on. Well, let's try it again. There we go. Don't fail on me now. Come on. There we go. All right. So we have the start menu. Let's go from the top. You got the start. And yes, today is Sunday. That's good to know. And that is the current time. So there's that. I am the owner. We have a t <laughs> we have we have something an appointment. We have to praise Eggy. That's good to know. I uh, have no new messages and no tasks. And there we go. And you got the the old school Windows XP logo from from the time and the Bluetooth, which you could turn it on, but we're not going to, because I have nothing else to test with Bluetooth. Well, I do, but I mean, a lot of the stuff I tried it out beforehand, it, it don't work. So, I mean, it does, but it takes a while and, okay, okay, there. So we got new, we can make it a new appointment, a new contact, workbook, message, note, task, and Word, Word document. I'm sure those are all self-explanatory, so I'm not even gonna go th go through all that, but just for the sake of it, let's make a new appointment. There we go. Our subject is, what should we do? We should uh, praise somebody else other than Kev K Eggy, right? Let's praise, uh, oops. Yes, let's praise Kevin. Kevin, the guy, f the, the, the guy. <laughs> Kevin is the dog from Overcooked, and we should all praise him. So the location, hmm, where he's located uh, right now, he is home. <laughs> or homeless, as it's... <laughs> Thanks, autocorrect. That's good to know. It starts... Um, or, eh, we could just do it there. The location, May Cafe, we'll just do it there. 
July, uh, July, uh, June, June rather, eh, tomorrow. Is it all day? Yes, it is all day. Occurs every Monday. That's good. Remind me every 15 minutes. And we go here. Yes. Praise Kevin at the Maid Cafe. As for today, praise Eggy at the Maid Cafe. So there's that. All right. So just for the sake of it, let's make ourselves a new note. And... Okay, so as far as making new notes, or as far as your input method, you have four of them. You have block recognizer, which will recognize blocks, such as this block, and <laughs> picks it up as an O. E ooh, yeah, O, or we could just put owning, there we go. Uh, have an on-screen keyboard, which you could backspace and go, and we could just press, E. Yes, because when in doubt, we all need to press E. So that's another more method of inputting text. Letter recognizer. So let's put um, a capital E. Or, yeah. Oh, F E uh, 3. <laughs> yes. Ah. <sighs> Yep, uh, handwriting recognition is a kind of issue okay on my part. And transcriber, it does something. Oh, it don't like that. Okay. Um, does it like this? <laughs> mm, yeah, that, that's pretty good. Okay, so enough with that. Yes, press E, F, E, 3, S, E. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we could just do that. <clears throat> Let's make ourselves another, uh, I'll just make another note just for the heck of it. And you got lines, so. And let's do block recognizer for. Yep, that's one way of taking notes. You wanna know what's another method of make, taking notes? Allow me to show you, and it's the best method of taking notes. Paper, pen, don't roll on me, pen and paper. And yeah, you get the idea. Not starting any arguments in pen and paper, so there is that. All right, so, oh. We could play solid. <laughs> Heck, while we're at it, let's play some solitaire. Yes, uh, I have the home button mapped to solitaire. So what is it like? Well, as you would expect, you play solitaire. All right. While we're at it, let's just send the ace away. Come on, send another ace away. And yeah. yeah you've seen solitaire before. Yep, there's that. Let's get out of it. Get out of it. And there we go. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead to the start menu and see what we get. Oh, so we got plenty of stuff. We got today, Active Sync, Bluetooth Manager, Calendar, Contacts, Inbox, Internet Explorer, Notes, Tasks, Windows Media, Programs, Settings, Find, and Help. So yeah, that's pretty much it right there. Let's go to Programs. And what kind of programs do I have on this thing? Come on, don't fail on me, there we go. So we got Asus Programs. We got Asus Backup and Asus Launcher. What does Asus Launcher do? It launched something with, yeah, same programs as you would expect, Bluetooth Manager, Windows Media Task Notes, Internet Explorer, Internet Explorer all that stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that is good to know. And let's go back and what do we have? Uh, all the basic necessities for stuff. Let's go and check out the calculator. What What is it like to use the calculator on this thing? There we go. Mm, I'm curious to find out what 51 times 51 is. I know the answer. 2,601. Yay, that's good to know. And it does beeps. Because I have the sound on, if you can't, can't tell. There we go. 
File Explorer is, yeah, it's just File Explorer in Windows. And yeah, it turns out I have some ROMs in here. You'll see why in a bit. Yeah, it's not that difficult. Microsoft Reader with clear type. This copy of Microsoft Reader is not blah, 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 blah. Okay. <sighs> Microsoft Reader help. Yes, Microsoft Reader help. And <laughs> uh, search for what? No instances of stuff were found. Okay. This thing is, uh, it sucks already. That's good to know. Okay, MSN Messenger, ooh, yes. Back in the days when MSN Messenger, then Windows Messenger, then eventually Skype. Ah, I remember those good old days. Too bad I can't use it now because I can't connect to the internet no matter how hard I try. <sighs> yes, if I were to connect the internet with this thing, I'd have to mess with the uh, the settings on my router. And then again, it, would, it only uses 802.11b, which, yeah, slow internet, This, as they say. Pictures, as you can expect, expect there's some pictures. These four right here are from the Windows XP starter pack. And of course I have one that says press E. Yes, that is Mahiru, Mahiru from Review Starlight. In no certainty, she's telling you to press E. Yes. And yes. Okay. Now here's the interesting bit, Pocket Excel. What is it like to make us do a spreadsheet on the go? Let's see, let's give some values. Uh, one, two, uh, move on to the next one. Uh, two, four, yeah, 241, yeah, yeah that's great. Uh, three, three, Okay, I'm writing a bunch of threes and it picks it up as nine three sevens. I, yep. Now if I could find the magic of auto sum. Ah, uh, See, I never use Pocket Excel on the go. I do it at home or at or in class or whatever, and it's it automatically saves for you. So yeah, yeah. The frustrating part of doing spreadsheets on the go. Yeah, take it or leave it. Now, Pocket MSN, on the other hand, is what you would expect. Opens up Internet Explorer, connect the new Pocket MSN. Has one MSN Messenger, MSN Hotmail. Ah, oh, Hotmail. I remember having a Hotmail a <laughs> address and clearly regretting it. And good thing I don't have it anymore, which is good. Alerts, mobile web, tap continue for online pricing. I wish I could, but this it has no internet. No internet, rather. Okay, we're almost done. Pocket Word. What's it like to? Uh, oh, I've already made a. I already made a Word document. So, can we make a new one? Yes, we can. And uh, let's see what we could type or write rather. It. Ah. Mm. Yeah. The. Uh, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Much like Excel, you really don't want to do your five paragraph essay, essay on the go on this thing because, yeah, there's none of that uh, formatting options. So and doesn't have that word art word art options and basically basically it does not have the cool functions you would get from word on <laughs> on a regular pc and such so yeah and of course just like excel saves automatically terminal services clients well connect to a terminal to a server and all that stuff sadly i can't do it because again no internet now i saved the interesting bit let's look at some games Let's close down this. So I got a couple games I hear that I threw on beforehand. Got Blackjack, Chess, Cinco, Free Cell, Hearts, Minesweeper, Pocket New, Pocket Ness, Pocket VCS, Reverse Seasync the Ships, and all that stuff. Okay, so we already looked at Solitaire because I pressed that button by accident. Let's look at Jawbreaker. Yes, Jawbreaker. You break jaws and, well, by jaws, I'm not referring to... Uh, that, that animal from that, or that shark from the movie, or that James Bond villain, it's that game you see everywhere. It's like either, don't I have sound? 
thought I had a sound. There we go. It does sound effects. Listen, keep your ears open. There we go. Ah, you've seen this game before. If you've played games like Sega Swirl and Collapsed and all those games, yeah, you already know what this is. This is kind of ish a time killer. I'm getting bored already. Yeah, enough, enough. All right, so let's look at some other interesting ones. How about Pocket VCS? As you would expect, it emulates the Atari 2600. And you have a bunch of features you could load and all that stuff. More settings and stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and play ourselves some more, I don't know, Pac-Man maybe? There we go. Uh, what is it like to play Pac-Man, the 2600 version of Pac-Man on the on on something like this? The answer, you will find out. I want that. Ow. I am gonna... That could have gone better. Yes, I could have done better. And mind you, I'm playing this through the viewfinder. Uh, let's give it another go. Yeah, I did pretty good. Yeah, yeah, you get the idea. I feel pretty good. I did a little bit better, and that's playing through the viewfinder, and of course the glare from the from the light. So let's get out of that, and let's play some some Game Boy, some Nintendo Game Boy, with Pocket New Boy. Ah, uh, what could we play? And of course you could use a use the D pad to select stuff. Uh, let's play some some of. Uh, Played growing up is Nigel Mansell's World Championship. There we go. Decided to lower it for you because, yeah, the speaker on here is, is pretty good. I'll give it that. Yes, my name is Mansell. Let's race in, uh, oh, I don't know. Hun Yes, Brazilian. <laughs> Brazilian Grand Prix. We're racing in Sao Paulo. I'm guessing this would be Interlagos. It has to be. And best part about it, you could map you could map buttons using these buttons. I have one for A and B, the other I have for start and select. And what does it like what is it like to play Game Boy games on a pocket PC? The answer eh, pretty good. I mean I mean with this D-pad, of course. I mean, if you ever play games like street, any game or any fighting game that requires special moves with, you know, the Hadouken motion and hit and miss, but, you know, something like this, I guess it's okay. Yeah, D-pad's not that, not that, that's decent enough. I mean, you will get by, you will get by. I'll just, just leave it at that. Uh, well, you get the idea. It's Game Boy on Pocket PC. Let's move on to something else. Let's get out of that. And just for the heck of it, let's play some Pocket Nestor. Because Nestor in a pocket, yes, let's play some Gun Knack. Next stuff. Yeah. I guess the only issue when it comes to playing... Uh, some games <laughs> when you're holding it like this of course you're gonna be covering up the speaker but yeah that's when you plug in headphones and yes much like pocket new boy I have these buttons mapped into the 
I mean, granted, I mean, look at this. I mean, I mean, going back to the D pad earlier, I mean, it's, I mean, it's okay. It's really okay. I'll just give it that. I wish I had a copy of uh, copy of the gun knack, you know, physically, but these this game is really, really expensive. But as far as I know. I guess the only best bet is get a reproduction cart for a bit cheap. But I don't know. But yes, NES emulation, much like Game Boy emulation, yeah, it's pretty good. I mean I mean considering the hardware that this is on, it's yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, I think you get the idea. Let's go ahead and uh, get out of that. And there we go. And one thing we haven't looked at is the uh, the specifications on this thing. So where should we go? Oh, where does it go? We go. All right. So we have. So you got the settings here. You got buttons. The buttons, Duke. The buttons. You got to sign the buttons to to anything which opens up. Which opens up stuff. For example, the calendar opens up the calendar, contacts, task, and all that. And the home button, of course, opens up solitaire. And the record is this of, up here, opens up the record function. So there's that input, uh, self explanatory menus, owner information, password, sounds, and today, you know, all that good stuff. As far as system is concerned, what's this all about? Yes, Microsoft Pocket PC it, version 4.20.0. So yeah. 4.20 yes there's that there's the processor there's the memory expansion slot in use i'm the owner and that's my company so the device id is pocket pc2 copyrights if you have the time to read all that that's good and much self-explanatory like the black backlight bluetooth surface surf what certificates do i have oh no i have no certificates <sighs> That's not a good thing. Uh, clock, memory, power, regional settings, remove program screen, smart keeper. Yeah, yeah, for your storage device and stuff. Smart keeper. I've yet to see dumb keeper, which is something. And connection. Oh, yeah, screen even. Yeah, you can even align the screen, which I've done multiple times, and I'm end up with with what you just saw. And what's the Asus settings? What's this all about? Get the version, ROM date 2003 <laughs> of November the 27th. The ROM version is, you won't believe this, version 0.99.31 WWE. Great. So this one is probably owned by Vince McMahon. That's good to know. Or somebody, well, <laughs> somebody within WWE had this and Vince went up to him, went to said employee and said, you're fired or something like that. Oh, it's gone off again. Nope, don't do this to me. Come on. There we go. And all that stuff. And got memory, 64 megabytes, like <laughs> the box said. And usable is all that. Yeah, there's that. The mode, you have four modes. Automatic, power, save, power saving, standard, and turbo mode. That's good to know. Display, of course, adjust the brightness, audio, the volume and balance, as well as treble and bass. Yeah, the mic settings, which of course there's that. The wake up settings, by pressing any buttons, will probably turn it on. And the auto run, well, yeah, that's auto run, self explanatory. And what? And yeah, the last thing is beam and connection. So I guess one one more thing we could check out is of course Windows Media, because yes, ready tap play. Okay, I will do that. Windows welcome music. Yes, this is the. Uh, I don't think. Oh, okay, let me. Uh, that is bumping. If you don't recognize that tune, that is the uh, music you heard when uh, 
when you're installing Windows XP for the first time. That's that song that you play, you hear it, and it's really banging, if you ask me. I do miss that time when when installation uh, when you're installing operating systems when you have music like this. Uh oh. Oh main battery oh main battery low. I don't know if you can see that. It's uh Main battery low to prevent possible data loss, replace or recharge your battery according to the owner's manual. Okay. I will do this just that as soon as I finish recording. So yeah. And just to wrap it up, of course, the Bluetooth is what you expect. Connect Bluetooth. Can't be bothered to do that right now because uh yeah. And we could check out oh less one more thing. Of course, active sync is what you would expect. Uh, pocket PC to all that stuff uh, connect to your Windows PC via Windows XP or whatever and yeah it's active sync what more do you want and yeah that's pretty much it find is find stuff help is it's just help and that's pretty much uh, Ooh, I guess we could check out one more game. Nah, it's a pocket PC. You get the idea. So there is that. And we could just turn it off. And, uh, oh, oh, now the colors, the colors. Okay, it's going back to normal because, yeah. And it's back up again. So let's turn it off. So if you're curious to see what this is, what can <laughs> When I bought this thing, you know, for the second time, there was some really interesting stuff on this compact flash card. Uh, I extracted it, and what you would, what was inside of it, was very, very intriguing. I'm not gonna do it on this video, but I'll probably put that on my extras channel. So yeah, do keep a look on that. So yep, good old compact flash. Do people still use these anymore? Ah man, I don't even know. I'll tell you one thing, they pretty much got their <laughs> they got their ass handed to them by the uh, SD uh, SD card format, both uh, both standard, mini, and micro. Of course, micro being the standard now. As here and there, this the the mini and of course the standard uh, by adapter. So yeah, good old compact flash. <sighs> so yeah, that is about it for the Asus MyPal A620 BT Pocket PC Personal Digital Assistant. Ah, that's a wordful. Um, if you want to buy one of these, uh, I guess you can, but nowadays, um, I mean, what's the point? I mean, nobody uses PDAs anymore, so at least as far as I know, or some other places or other businesses don't use PDAs anymore. And of course, the PDA uh, got uh, surpassed by another device called the smartphone. You know, the you know smartphone, that device you're probably using to call people, use, uh, use it for TikTok videos, or pretty much the device that you're using to watch this video right now. So yeah, that's that. And uh, I don't think any time soon we will see, be seeing PDAs anymore. But yeah, that's that. So if you're curious uh, how much this thing costed, um, I don't remember because I like what I said in the beginning. I did buy this back in uh, 2005, I think, uh, from CompUSA. Uh, the first time when I bought it, I think it was retailing for $200, I believe. But I think I paid less than that the second time around, you know, boxed and everything. So there's that. And yeah. I think I've been rambling for about a very, very, very long time. So I think I'm just going to call it here. So yeah, that is about it on this one. So get one for a collector's piece or don't if you don't. I, don't, I can't make that decision for you. So there's that. Anyway, so I'm going to head off. Until then, take care. Be cool throughout the summer heat and all that stuff. Stay hydrated and all that good stuff because, of course, yeah, you need liquids and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to head out. So until then, see ya.